Okay. Testing. One, two, three. Go, shawty. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. It is my birthday. That was a nice surprise. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> your mouth is full, Noah. Cheese. Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to We'll, we'll figure, figure It Out. That, I think, is one of the shortest test sections that we've had. It was like 30 seconds. I know. They're usually like a minute, minute and a half. <laughs> There's like not enough banter. Should we go back and add banter later? I mean, we can banter for the whole rest of the episode. Banter. I'll banter with you. What do you want to banter about? How's the weather today? It's lovely. How is your day? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> that exciting, yeah. huh? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel, for that banter. <laughs> today's today's banter brought to you by Samuel. But today's episode is about. I we I. Uh, yeah. About figuring it out. <laughs> but what are we gonna figure out? <laughs> We're gonna figure out what this episode's about. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to discuss it over dinner but what had happened was we didn't yeah we didn't what now never mind yeah please only speak in the microphone without food in your mouth never mind <laughs> what? What <is> that? <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway today's episode is about hmm, when things don't go quite as planned exactly I don't know. We have a house. We bought one oh, three years ago. Dude, where's our house? On our street. In the middle of it? Our house. In the middle of our street. Our house. <laughs> <laughs> random lyric of the day. Not as random as we think. All right. So... We had something planned for not this Thursday, but next Thursday, and we actually recorded two episodes about this plan on Sunday, but since this plan has been foiled, we have to think of something else to talk about. (laughs) I'm trying to avoid quoting sticks again, because I've already quoted nothing ever goes as planned. We'll just figure out what lyrics to randomly we'll just oh, it'll we'll just do a whole entire podcast based on song lyrics yep. can we can we do a podcast based on misheard lyrics because i love misheard lyrics we know we're this <laughs> no no that's not what this podcast is about it's about figuring out life not lyrics we may use lyrics to figure out our life but we don't figure out lyrics <laughs> For our life. <laughs> well, I'm about to drop the mic to let the dog in. Ha ha, I took the mic. What? Oh, it's my his wife's birthday. He can sit there and relax. Good to know. So that when it's his birthday, I get to relax? Is that how it works? Apparently so. I can, I can hold it. I can hold it. I do, really. Lego, my ego, or my microphone, whichever. All right. So, since our plan for next week has been foiled, I have to (laughs) take away my scheduled pay time off. As do I. And so, now I have to work for that week that I was going to take off. Now you have to work. I was so looking forward to doing something different on that week. We would have been working anyway, just differently. But still. Nothing. You'll find out in a couple of weeks, maybe a month, maybe never. We might we might never disclose what this secret was. (laughs) We might have two podcasts that we'll just have to hold in our posterity and never share with the world. Well, because if the 
I'm gonna cry. So, so, the other thing is, is if this particular super secret doesn't work out, those two episodes mean absolutely nothing. But they were funny. They were hilarious. I guess we could just do it because they were hilarious. Even my sister, who edits my podcast, said that she was laughing so hard when she edited the first. If I made my sister laugh, it was probably really good. Because she says she doesn't usually laugh when she's editing because she's so focused on editing. I don't laugh. I have. All the time. You make me laugh when I make make you corrected. I mean, when I give you corrections, you make me laugh. You just get that little smirk and then you laugh and then I laugh. <laughs> that was weird. He raised his eyebrows and at Then me. she puts her hand upon her hip and then you laugh. She laughs. We laugh. <laughs> No, I was just face bombing. Oh, face bombing. Okay. <laughs> Dear podcast, please note it that Jeremy is face palming currently. <laughs> Eventually, one day we might put this on YouTube, but for now, it's going to be non-video YouTube. I do have plans to uh, put the podcast on YouTube. It just will require a little bit extra work, and today. This not today. This week is month end. My day job is a medical coder, so every end of the month week is a very strenuous month week week of the month for us. And we have the opportunity to make a bonus if we work eight hours extra. So I am trying to fit forty eight hours into a week where typically, because of my neck issues. Typically, this past couple of months, I, you know, wasn't getting full-time hours. I just got to the point where I was working the required 39 hours every week for like the past three to four weeks. And so it's really pushing me mentally and physically to be able to get over, eight hours over. Last week, I actually got like a little over an hour overtime. And now you can't respond because you have a fry in your mouth, Jeremy. I can respond. With food in your mouth and you sound like a cow. Well, he was offering me food. <laughs> and you can't deny an offer of food? Oh, uh, wait. Look I know you. Him. I know you too Look well. Look at his little puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Look at Noah's little Who puppy dog Who could resist eyes. an offer from that face? <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Is Johnny here? Yes, yeah, he is. he's upstairs. Okay. He is here. He's, He's going to be here. here all week because I can't go anywhere because I'm working. <laughs> Back to, to the, the podcast. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this week is crazy for me. I'm trying to get a lot of work in. We also have plans to do a crawfish boil on Sunday. Which I have no idea who is coming to that crawfish boil yet. Yeah, we haven't sent out any invitations other than verbal, hey, we're having a crawfish boil. Mm hmm. So, so, yeah. You probably have to order the crawfish tomorrow, huh? I guess. I just I'm do have to... two sacks, and that way, if some people come, then it'll still be enough. And if not, then we'll have a bunch left over for freezing and peeling and. Mm-hmm. What not? Mm-hmm. Yes, because it was very important to my husband to give me my, my annual crawfish boil on my birthday weekend. Because we started that tradition. Did we start it before we lived here or no? Um, we started it when we lived here. We, we started it when we moved in here. Yeah. Because your the first birthday that we had oh, when that's you and I right. were together, this is a... Okay, we've been together for four years. This is the fifth birthday I've celebrated with her. Go ahead and do the math. <laughs> <laughs> we barely knew each other for my first birthday. <laughs> I think we've discussed this on the podcast that we, you had only known me for like a week or two. Or we had the the week before my birthday was our first date. Yep. The weekend before your birthday. Yeah. Was, was our first date. Yeah. So... so. 
I wasn't going to get a crawfish boil out of them that year, I guess. Well, no, it would have been really short notice, and, like, I wasn't prepared for all that, and, you know. He really would have done it if I asked him, though. I probably would have. Because <laughs> that's the kind of guy he is. I, yeah, I probably would have. <laughs> because... But I think that weekend, was it the weekend, or? The, the weekend following yeah. that was my sister's birthday. Oh, and right. And that's when I, we went over there, and I boiled at her house for her birthday. And I was like, oh, he boils. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> he cooks. He boils crawfish. What? Who is this? I need to know more. <laughs> Ladies, I'm taken. Sorry. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. That's funny. So we have that to plan, which we're going to need children to help with cleaning this house. Since mom is going to be so busy with work, she's not going to have time to clean the house. So she's going to need help with cleaning the house. <laughs> he must be la la lying along with the earbud. No, he hears me. He's just ignoring me. Mm-hmm. Is that Christmas music? Fa la 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 what? What up? <laughs> no, no, wrong song. It's Maya he, Maya who, Maya. Ho, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put the microphone by his mouth, he's like, "Shut up, shut up." Uh, oh my gosh, we're a mess. How many podcasts can we reference the Numa Numa song? <laughs> <laughs> probably all of them because it's just fun so since we don't have super secret thing that we're going to be doing in two weeks which we have to call our access lady access lady the you gatekeeper the oh, yeah. can you hear me now well yeah i can hear you now now we have to call the access lady to be able to see what's going on with the super secret category yes, which the super secret category is in our budget changes and sinking funds mm -hmm. episode we discussed a super secret fund that we have that has it's something in is in the works and it's not necessarily a hundred percent sure that it's going to happen so we really don't want to talk about it too much until it's come to fruition is alice going to get friends alice yeah alice Who's Alice? I don't know, but you talked to me about Alice getting friends. And if she doesn't have friends, Alice is going to be lonely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ashley. Ashley. Not Alice. Oh. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. That's, that's a reference to the... <laughs> One of the podcasts that we're not going to play yet. <laughs> yes. Or post yet. Yes. So, Samuel, we asked Samuel if he wanted to... Uh, pick out one of Ashley's friends. Yeah. That will make sense when you listen to the next episode yeah. or just, whenever we post that one. <laughs> just write down Ashley and make note of it. That way, you know, you can listen for it and hear for it and go, oh, oh yeah. Oh. I still don't get it because it's a vague reference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, you know, whatever. Oh, and the podcast after that podcast all the of Ashley and her friends. The code words. Yeah. Uh, I don't want any right now. No, I'm good. Um, Actually, maybe after the podcast I'll eat it, though. So just yeah. leave it there. After yes. the podcast. <laughs> Shout out to Colin, who's got that stuck in my head. The, <laughs> the voice. Uh, I, I, you know, I need to have auto-tune to really make it flow, but, you know. Yes. Colin is the one that did the sound for the transition between the podcast and the ad. And then the transition between the ad and back to the podcast. <laughs> so. What? You have to listen to the podcast to be able to understand it. Yeah. I'm going to have to subscribe you onto Google Podcasts, onto our podcast, so you can go look it up and listen to our podcast. All, you know, it's going to prepare you for a future when you are an adult and you will be making all of these decisions that we have to make and being able to make 
right decisions. Is that your tap of? Okay. Not, not that. Not that close. Say it a little bit further away. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're killing me, kid. You're killing me. So is it, is there anything that you need to figure out? You need to figure out what you're going to do for this next week after school is out before summer camp. Uh, so are we figuring out my life or our life? Everybody. Yep. Our life as a whole, as a family. Yeah, not just one person's life. Everybody. So you're part of everybody. So let's figure out your life, because we have nothing. We have nothing to talk about. So we can I pick apart know. your life. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How about you work on training your birds? Uh, I don't have that patience. You can spend like thirty minutes every couple of hours with them, and then they'll probably be excited. Uh, you could teach them to speak French. You could. You could speak French to them. There's, they'd have to, first they'd have to learn sounds, like, I'm totally not refer- referencing Crab Rave. What is Crab Rave? It is on. Oh. Uh, I have no idea what that is. So, one of the things that you do need to do is vacuum your floor. On Thursday when you don't have school. Uh, it's really not that hard. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I also, I'm going to need you to do the landing and the stairs this week. Since you're going to have so much time on your hands without school. Because people coming over and yucky. Dog hair. Why am I always the person assigned to the activity? Do you want the bathroom? Because I can sign you to the bathroom. What's the bathroom? Pee toilets or dirty stairs? Dirty stairs or hallway. I figured. See, this is why I give you that chore so you don't have to clean toilets. (laughs) I'm nice like that. Are you though? I mean... I would have to say so. Yeah, I think she's pretty nice like that. You should see what she makes me do. I don't make you do anything. Totally not. Not like cleaning the garage. <laughs> the the ongoing three year saga. Uh-huh. She makes me go to work. Yes, because you never went to work before you met me. Nope, not a day in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was. I was. A stay-at-home dad, independently wealthy. No, no. <laughs> Why didn't I get that dad? That would have been better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't happen. That wasn't the way it went. <laughs> Back to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think Noah just announced that he's done. <laughs> Mic drop. No. Let's not. Please don't drop those. <laughs> um, so what else are you going to do on your week off? Play st- stuff on Thou, com- thou Computer? On Thou Monitor. Thou Monitor? What's going to happen when Circle says you're out of time? I'm going to do stuff like sit down and annoy you while you're working, probably. I totally forgot what I was going to say now. That's what you were going to say? I totally forgot what I was going to say is what I was going to say, apparently. Okay. Back to the podcast. <laughs> 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 uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, he was not able to get on the internet today because the router was paused or something. I didn't need it. Well, we can talk about that on here. It's okay. Okay, we're talking about router password. I'm going to say the password, but we can talk about the fact yeah, that I you know. need it. So, he was unable to get on the internet today. Yes. And I had Colin look at it, and he said something about it, about a router it's issue. Internet. So, I know you messed with router stuff yesterday. 
I had some items that looked like they were spoofing the routers. They were calling themselves the routers, but were operating under Windows. And so I pretty much blocked everything that looked suspicious. So apparently one of those things was the computer in here. Quite possibly. Okay. I'll have to look into that. Thank you. That is Windows. That is Windows. Yes, it is. Can you please figure out what's going on with that? I guess I'll figure it out. Because I certainly can't. (laughs) See, this is part of D putting Jeremy to work. (laughs) That's right. It's a honeydew. See? See? The things she makes me do. Mm -hmm. I guess not having that thing to do next week is going to give us more time to accomplish the desk refurbish yes which we were supposed to do tonight but you see what had happened was i came home and said we're going out for your birthday for dinner and i was totally okay with it i was actually going to tell you i don't know if i want to do the desk tonight because i was like super tired from it yesterday i don't know i I asked my doctor to take my um vitamin d levels again just to see where i'm at um i went to the doctor not too long ago and my vitamin d level was 16 and apparently if you're 15 and below, you are at risk for rickets. So, <laughs> um, I was seriously below uh, the vitamin D norm levels. And so, I've been taking vitamin D supplements, but I still find myself to be super tired. You were in risk of... Rickets is basically when your bones become brittle and soft and can break easily because you don't have enough calcium in them because... To be able to absorb calcium, you have to have vitamin D. Okay. Back to the summer. (laughs) Are you excited about going to summer camp? I mean, at least I know one person going there. One of your friends from school is going there? Yeah. Okay. Usually one of your classmates goes, too. He doesn't know if he made it in yet. So, I guess, um... Next week, we can pick up the desk thing and if we don't do any more this week. Because taking that off my plate would allow me to work in the evening some. And then I wouldn't have to necessarily work on Saturday. And I could help clean the house. Well, I'll be working this Saturday, so. I know. I'm aware. It's on the calendar. As is it is every other weekend. Yeah, well, you know. I don't live by a calendar. Yes, we do. I was about to say, or do you? (laughs) But we do. (laughs) What is that on the... What is that? The dragonfly? Oh, it's a baby. At least it's not termites today. Uh We got attacked by the termites when we were podcasting on Sunday. We were recording the podcast that may never come to fruition. Yes, those two. Yeah, Formosan and termites. New Orleans. Summer conditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what else? I guess next week would be a little bit more feasible for us to do that in the evenings because I won't have to cram so many hours in. We should hold off on the desk this week. I mean, yeah. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with it because we have to do so much to get prepared. I think we should get everything prepared. Like, we need to clean. We're going to have to clean the table off outside on the patio anyway for us to do the crawfish boil and so that'll be prepared because you know i know it won't take long but it's like we have to do so many things to get set up to do the rest of the desk that i just feel like it's a lot to put into this week Hmm. what do you think do you think that we should just push through and get it done I would like to get it done and out of the way so it's not sitting in the middle of the garage like it is right now. Or at least get the get the stuff cut out and ready and put back together. That way we can start the actual refinish process. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I know you wanted to document and film it. If you're wanting to work, tomorrow evening is typically a Colin night to cook. Well, yeah, I was just thinking about that as you were talking. 
that it would actually probably be a good night for us to work on it so I can just make sure that I get all my hours in before dinner. Or, or if I could set up some sort of video contraption if you're not able to. Well, I don't want you to have to figure out like angles and stuff and filming on top of doing projects because it's a lot because I've done that before. And I was going to try and make it a little bit more interesting this time than just a camera on a tripod looking at what we were doing, because that's typically what I do. Oh, so you're going to be, like, you know, handling the camera, zooming in, getting up close? Yeah, like I did the other day. Instead of just sticking it on a pod, a tripod and, like, letting it just film what we were doing from a distance, getting up close to things that need to be close doing different angles and make it a little less boring. You know, like practice like real filmography. Just as long as she's not like bouncing the camera around and and moving everything and because I'll being get jerky sick and... editing editing. Yeah. <laughs> I get motion sickness when people pan too fast or their camera is bouncing and I'm like I can't watch this. I mean like even if it's in my peripheral vision when I'm like working, I'm like, can you please turn this off? I'm gonna puke. So yeah, I have to make sure that the camera's really steady. Can um, you hear me now? I can hear you now. Nope. Now? Yes. A little bit. Barely. Now? I can hear you now. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing that. That's ridiculous. Anyways, so the desk, you want to keep working on it. That's that's what I hear. I'd like to get it done. Get her done. Get her done. I know. We always put things off for different reasons, so it would be nice to actually get the thing accomplished and not put it off. I guess I'll just work on editing this tonight and stay up until it's done. Because if I'm helping you with the desk tomorrow, I may not have energy to edit. Blah. Unless my sister can edit tonight. We had two glasses of wine. Yes, I am. Gotta let a brother know. <laughs> oh, um, yes. Okay, so this week we're going to continue working on the desk. I am going to... My sister can edit, so I will not have to do that tonight till all hours and then try and wake up and work another, like, nine hours tomorrow. And then help you with the desk and then finish the editing tomorrow night after she does the first cut so i'll be up late tomorrow night though nella it is 9 44 it's time for your bedtime oof so tomorrow is your last day it's only a half day so do i have to make you lunch you sure i have lunch <laughs> yeah, you can bring like a yogurt or something. Okay. Fine, then just starve yourself till you get home at one. Fine, I'll make my own lunch then. It was almost one forty when you got home. Yeah. Yeah. The bus broke down. Yeah. Note to self: We're not going to buy that bus for the schoolie. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> We can talk about the schoolie all we want. That's not the super secret project. But it could be. Oh. Well, then, um, beep out the word schoolie. It's fine. Can you stop telling me how to do my podcast? You don't even listen. How do you know what I do on my podcast? Yeah, you don't know what's up. Hey, you don't do anything. You chill anyway. She only edits out the ums and the spaces in the unrelevant conversation like this one. And then I go back and I keep in what content I want. She just edits out the unrele- irrelevant. Or oddball noises like straws being pulled in and out of a cup. Which is preventing us from completing our podcast and it's disrupting my train of thought which makes this podcast sound like a bunch of malarkey. And then everybody's not going to listen because you interrupted too much. 
<laughs> All the shenanigans leads to malarkey. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? That was okay. You're just like, but that's okay in trolling rooms because it's so okay. Oh, you were saying okay to me in straw language. Ah, I should have known this. Yes, it's the straw to English. You just splashed me. (laughs) You need to finish what you're doing and go brush your teeth, boy. Let him in first. While you're slurping. Nose goes. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Guess what? I have enough cable here that I can take the microphone... No, that's microphone. (laughs) (laughs) Casimir, you're a pain. But anyway, um, I I don't even know where to go. We're at like 42 minutes, but I'm sure like 10 minutes of it is like needs to be edited out. Back to the outside. Oh my God, again, really? (laughs) Oh gracious. Okay, so we had a lot of interruptions and I have no idea how much of this is we're going to keep in and how much we're going to have to edit out so we're gonna kind of try and get back on track with figuring out what we need to do this week which is finish up this desk project so honey what do we need to do tomorrow to get ready to work on this thing all right so our next phase of what we're doing is replacing the face of that drawer the 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 keyboard keyboard drawer. drawer okay Okay, so we are going to, we've already laid out the piece of wood and measured the area that we're going to need. So now we need to take it outside, clamp it down, get the router out, and this is going to be unusual. It's it's one of the first times I've ever used a router for this purpose. We're going to have to use... <laughs> the router figure out how we're going to set up the router and do the router to cut out the wood for the the rabbit on the end of the the drawer question possible answer would it it be easier to set the depth of the skill saw and just run lines down it and chop them out no because we have to cut down to a quarter of an inch Oh, so the it's, thickness. The, it's so just, the router is yeah, gonna the, the router is gonna be more precise in getting that that edge. Okay, that makes sense because it'll be too thin for the. Right now, if we had a table saw, yeah, we could go at it and whack at it in two passes and be done. Right, but we don't have one of those. Hint, hint, subtle hint. Birthday present. My birthday's in October. Father's Day. Why don't we just bar it, buy one tomorrow and just call it a day? No, we can't. We can't make that big of a purchase right now. We could shop around. Shop, shop around. But if we're shopping around, we're not doing things. And then we always go through this, this whole thing. We don't accomplish the tasks because we shop around and then we burn time and then we don't get anything done. But, but tools... We have plenty in the garage. Not a table saw. Is that my fault? No. No, it's my fault because I left it behind at one of the other houses anyway. Yeah, we we only had to go down that road. Okay, so we need to router out the keyboard drawer Mm -hmm. so it will open correctly. Right, and then we're going to need to router out for the hinges so that we can mortise out for the hinges. Mm -hmm. Make sure all that fits properly mm-hmm. then we need to replace the drawer slides right which we have the new drawer slides mm-hmm. they're they look like they're lighter duty than the ones that were on there but we just have to make sure everybody understands don't push down on the drawer yeah that's gonna happen with or kids lean or sit on it <laughs> then we can start getting it prepped for refinishing refinish which we would just need to do a light sand on it. I would say we hit it with light sand, see where it is, see how okay. deep the current finish is. Okay. I mean, if we're going to wind up going with a darker finish, I don't think... We just need to clean it well. 
I, I don't. I think we just need to get it to where it, the surface is prepped to accept the stain. Right, just like basically scratching it to scratch the finish off, basically, right? right? So just a light sanding. So like hand sand it, barely, just get the shiny stuff off. We got power tools. We use that. Well, some things will take power tools, but yeah, okay, that sounds good. So I think we probably can't accomplish all of that tomorrow. What do you What do you think is reasonable to get accomplished tomorrow? Router, routering out and finishing cutting the wood for the desk drawer and possibly attaching the hardware. Uh, I'm thinking that we can get the, the drawer face pretty much done, installed, everything aligned, and the drawer slides on. Okay, so basically just completely finish that keyboard drawer to 100% done Mm -hmm. and we'll have the whole entire desk assembled and then the next time we work on it we can work on sanding yeah I mean depending on what time we've got tomorrow Mm -hmm. after that right okay well that sounds like a good plan I think I think we figured out what we're gonna do with our tomorrow yes our tomorrow our tomorrow which will be your yesterday listening to the podcast (laughs) <laughs> but we do have to finish whatever we're going to be doing outside before it gets to be dusk because I don't feel like fighting for most and termites. Fine. I guess we need to order some more of those bug zappers. Love my bug zapper. I have a video of it. It's such an, I don't even know the word, how to say it. Satisfying. Oh, yes. It's a satisfying sound to hear the bugs going. <laughs> Sorry for people who have compassion on bugs, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know. The other thing that we had was basically a bug dehydrator, and I think it's much more inhumane to make them die a slow, miserable, dehydrating death than it is to zap them with electricity and de- kill them instantly. But that's just me. So I don't like when I get eaten by mosquitoes. So the bug zapper. It's on my Instagram. <laughs> Go if you if you like the sound of bugs being zapped, in the the sight of a bug zapper in the glorious blue light it puts out, <laughs> you can find it on my Instagram, Mom of Boys Nola. Yeah. And uh, the desk is going to be a video for the channel, and that will be coming in about a week or two, depending on what time I have to edit. Because day job and podcast. Yeah. So I guess on we can figure out what we're going to do next week. Next week. I guess that's kind of too far ahead right now for yeah. us to figure out what we're going to do. Because we don't even have all of the information about what is going to happen with the change of plans from the thing that's not going to happen next week. Correct. So We need more information. Probably this weekend or next week. We can do the next week's figuring out okay. next week. Yeah, that would be probably better to try and figure out next week after we have more information. Sunday, after we've eaten our weight in crawfish and drank our weight in beer, we'll be nice and full and happy. And you might get a really good podcast, so you might want to subscribe to the podcast now. We might have to start recording while other people are here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um... Yeah, so and I'll post some pictures of our crawfish boil up on Instagram and probably Facebook too. If you're a Facebook person opposed to Instagram, we're on Facebook too, Mama Boys Nola. And the YouTube channel is Mama Boys Nola. And podcast is apparently we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why did we do that and not Mama Boys Nola? Because this was supposed to be for us, not just you. Even though you're the star. <laughs> please <laughs> referencing our ad you're so silly all right so y'all can look forward to what we're going to do next week next week and let's see and the secret thing is still secret and you'll have to stick around to figure out what that is later please we're begging you listen to us subscribe to us the no. suspense. The suspense is killing y'all, isn't it? 
I hope so, because then it means you come back to listen to what it is, right? I hope it doesn't kill them. Well, okay, really. you're right. Then they can't listen if they're dead. <laughs> Figuratively killing you. Edge of your seat. Please be on the edge of your seat waiting to, to hear the next episode. That's what we want. That's what we want. Anyway, we really appreciate y'all listening if y'all have gotten this far in the episode. We appreciate if you would subscribe on whatever listening app that you listen to, whether it be Google or Spotify or Apple, and uh, leave a five-star review if you really like our content, because that helps us get more traction and out to more people, because I like to make people laugh, and, you know, we try to figure things out. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just drink and have funny podcasts. (laughs) Apparently. I haven't drank enough. Me either. So for that, I'd have to say, I'm I'm sorry. No, I was going to say I'm done, but I don't think we're done yet. No, I think we are. Okay, well then I'm done. (laughs) (laughs) I believe I am done too, honey. So we thank you for joining us on this episode and we hope that you will join us on our next episode where we'll We'll figure figure it out. out. Or we won't. I don't know. (laughs) We'll see. Depends on how much we drink. (laughs) We may figure it out all day long, but can we implement it? Listen to the last episode (laughs) if you want to know if we can implement our plans. (laughs) Y'all have a great day. (laughs) 